I think we had a very uh, fruitful discussion today. It's a wonderful day, beautiful day to be down in San Pedro, Colombia and to meet with some of the small farmers in this area and to discuss the new and exciting opportunities uh, on the way with the cannabis industry in Belize. Um, and of course to hear their concerns, it's all a part of our consultation process. I know that in this particular area it is known historically um, for the growth of cannabis and just to listen to some of the uh, concerns and the issues that these farmers have faced over the years, it makes us realize that this is something um, that certainly should be legalized to see what they have to go through uh, to have the police come and spray their farms, helicopters passing over, all of that. Um, the world is changing and we have to realize that um, I estimate that in the next 20 years, a majority of the countries all over the world would have legalized cannabis. Um, and so I believe Belize has uh, an opportunity, a window right now, uh, to do the right thing, um, especially for these small farmers, to ensure that they'll be able to grow their product and cultivate and provide their product on a legal market in the country. Uh, and again, one that is very responsible, a responsible and safe market for cannabis. So. Are you happy with the turnout today um, in the meeting? Yes, definitely. Um, it's always good to meet with farmers um, and to hear their concerns. And I'm definitely pleased with the outcome. Um, I think we had a very uh, engaging conversation and discussion on multiple levels um, on the various types of licenses, a lot of them weren't aware of so many opportunities that exist, uh, not just for planting and growing the flower, but for the extraction of oils, for the medicinal uh, products that we can actually uh, manufacture and process in the country, not just for the domestic market, but also for export. And so it was just a wide range of discussion. Um, and again, uh, it was interesting for me to hear the historical perspective of Colombia when it comes uh, in particular to this industry. Well, you know, um, we are still in terms of coming up with the legal framework. We haven't gotten to the point of addressing the, the uh, financial assistance. We're hoping that once this gets off of the ground, we can look at opportunities um, and funding for small farmers. I know that just um, Friday, uh, yesterday, in the House of Representatives, the government of Belize presented a loan motion for 25 million US dollars that would go to small farmers. And we're definitely hoping that our small farmers in this particular industry are able to tap into that particular fund. So so these are the types of things that we're looking forward to and again uh, we are going through the vetting process for the referendum hopefully uh, in the next um, 80 or so days we would be able to have a better picture of where we stand with this particular